You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you so much, I appreciate you and I appreciate our audience. Today I wanted to talk to you about this. This is a headset specifically designed to work on mobile gaming platforms. However, it does other things too. This headset says that it's designed for PlayStation 4 and as you can see here, it comes with one of the 1 8 inch Omni Jacks, which will both handle your microphone and your speakers here. So really, in essence, it'll also work on PC, it'll work on pretty much anything to some extent. Now I've got the cord crimped here, however, the cord here is about three feet long. Doesn't seem that long, and, but let me show you this. It comes with an adapter. This adapter's cord is about eight feet long. What happens is if you're using it for mobile gaming, you simply plug this into the headset portion for your iPhone or Android device. So it's great for that. Or you can plug it in here and just like any Turtle Beach headset that's of any quality, you can do a bass boost. You can also adjust in-game volume and mute or unmute your microphone from this dongle. And then this dongle is actually USB. Oh, like I said, long cord. Ah, there we go. It's actually a USB dongle. So that's really nice. It gives it a lot of really cool ways that it can be used. I also personally enjoy the fact that it's blue. Blue is awesome. Blue is king, especially when we're using green screens. As far as the headset itself, when you move the microphone, you do get a really annoying clicking, which I'm not a huge fan of. However, once you get the main arm where you'd like it, repositioning the microphone itself is really easily, easily done. But as you can tell, it's also very easy to trigger that clicking, which like I said, is annoying. The ear padding is fairly soft. It also doesn't really cancel out any noise from outside the headset. In my personal experience, it's comfortable to wear and it's fairly well ventilated. But, you know, like I said, outside noise kind of plays into a factor. Sound quality, as far as reproduction, I would place it about a 7. And as far as the microphone quality, putting it at about a 4. And that's even after discounting for things like, you know, the fact that it's a, more, it's a headset. Because those microphones aren't always really known to be the best. Overall, because of the price point and because of everything else, I think it's a strong contender. It's not the most perfect headset that I've ever seen. However, I will say that if you're looking for something in the low price point, anywhere about $30 or so, this is a decent one. So just keep that in mind when you're out there buying. If you have any experience with this headset or any headset like it, let me know in the comment section down below and we will talk about it. Overall quality of the headset, I'd put it about a six or so. But that's after taking into consideration that it's got a low price point. If I had to compare it against some of the other higher end ones that I've been reviewing on this show, I would probably put it at about a four or a three. But as far as budget headsets go, this one's decent. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. And till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Oh, and also remember, you can catch me at youtube.com slash Anthony Smith. The, the padding up top is very firm, but not uncomfortably so. The padding around the ears is rigid, but it's not uncomfortable to your ears. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.